Well, the theory of intelligent design, again, holds that an intelligent agent was responsible for some of the key features we see in life in the universe, and that you can tell by looking at the evidence. Uh, it's an age-neutral position, therefore. Uh, I, I hold an old Earth view. I think the, you, the Earth and the universe are very old. But someone could believe that the Earth was young and still see that there was evidence of design in the universe. So the, the question of how long ago the design was actualized is of secondary importance to many of the scientists who are involved in the discussion. So some think it's old, uh, most think it's old, but there are some young Earth creationists who think the evidence of design uh, originated recently. All advocates of young Earth creationism necessarily believe in intelligent design, but not everyone who believes in intelligent design believes in young Earth creationism. In fact, I would say most don't. Um, it's not, it, it is not intrinsic to the position of intelligent design that you believe that the Earth is young or that the Genesis days were literal 24-hour periods. In fact, it's probably important to clarify that as well. The, the theory of intelligent design is different from young Earth creationism in two ways. First, it's different in content. It's uh, affirming that life is the product of intelligent agency. It's not affirming that life arose 10,000 years ago or that the, there are, um, so it's not affirming that the Earth is young. And secondly, it's different in method or approach. The, the young Earth creationism is a, a deduction or an interpretation from scripture. Intelligent design is an inference from biological and other evidences. Mm -hmm.